King Edgy here bringing you another Gen 1 video. Uh, in this one, we're having our first rematch in the Edgy Challenge. That's right, just a quick refresher. The Edgy Challenge is three straight battles against the same opponent. They win all three. I'm dethroned. I'm no longer a king. If they lose all three, they're banished. They can never challenge again. But if they end up with one or two wins, then we could see them again as they try to dethrone me one more time. As you can see from earlier, Flying Luna Clipper is our opponent today. And Flying Luna Clipper did okay the first time around. Survived the edgy challenge, went one and two, looking to improve that mark. So let's see what can happen here. I do not like our matchup. Uh, Onyx versus Poliwag seems bad. So we're going to go Krabby. I think uh, Explosion is the very confident play. Should I, should I do Explosion? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I should go Krabby and just be safe. It's turn one, right? It's turn one. What are you going to do? But our team has nothing for this Poliwag, and so we're going to have to get a little lucky. Great, we make the right call there. Oh, he stays in and hypnosis is immediately. Okay, no problem. Now we can go out to Wigglytuff. Hopefully he amnesias. He does. We can Thunder Wave that, get the paralysis off, and then chip it down with Wigglytuff. If he switches out here, that's going to be rough for us because Wigglytuff um, kind of need it for this Poliwag. Here we go. We need this Poliwag paralyzed, otherwise we are done. Um, so might as well try Hyper Beam, or should we check? Was that a high roll? Kind of felt like a high roll. Oh, nope, it was definitely not. Well, I'm surprised it does that much. Okay. Cause our, oh, I guess our special is not good, but our health is really quite good. Okay, so we get him with that Hyper Beam, which is good. Charizard no slash? It does. How much does Charizard slash do? Uh, we don't know yet. Okay, it should do enough. Whew. All right, now we gotta. <laughs> now we just gotta hope that his team is not good, because uh, we're in trouble already against against this thing. We're up against it, so we need a couple electric types that Onyx can eat up. We need. A Paris that this Charizard can just destroy. Um, but we're not feeling good. We're not feeling good about this matchup right now. Charizard's our only Mon with 200 speed. Granted, it's it's really quite fast, 230, right? But um, no, I don't like it. We had to lose Wigglytuff to this Poliwag, which was which was tough. Ew. Um, but now what are we going to do? I mean, this isn't great. There's a 1 in 3 chance that we get paralyzed here, and I think I'm just going to roll those dice. Hope that we don't get paralyzed, or hope for a critical hit. Critical hit would be great. We don't get it. Do we get paralyzed? Oh, he gets the critical hit and the paralysis. Come on now. Come on now. Does Slash take him out? 33 to 39. It does. So we stay in and slash him. Jeez, he got the crit and the para. That was a rough one. Okay, but at least we took him out. And now we have a sleeper. We have two explosion users. Like, all hope isn't lost, but it's looking bleak because we have a slow team that can't do much. We are faster than Drowsy, though. So we're going to sack Krabby here, which is maybe a, a risky kind of play. We're going to go Venonat, and we're actually going to stun Spore with Venonat because we think Luna's going to save the Drowsy. Right, Luna has to save the Drowsy here. It would be crazy not to, in my opinion, because Drowsy's so good. But he has a third sleeper. Wild. Okay. Um, 
I mean, you think the obvious play is to go back out into Charizard, right? That does seem like the obvious play. So will he double switch out now? I think he will. I'm going to go Psy Wave, try to get a high roll with Psy Wave, do 40% damage to somebody. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Cool. We do 3% damage. He doesn't switch out. I guess Onyx one-shots him with Rock Slide, right? I don't know. Onyx is pretty terrible. He might not one-shot him. But Charizard, time for a crit. Charizard. What a what a what a poor excuse for a dragon you are. Charizard, that was embarrassing. Embarrassing. Okay. Interesting spot for us now. You gotta expect the switch out, right? Yep, there it is. Into another sleeper. This is unbelievable. How do you have four sleepers on the same team? Uh, I mean, we can explode here and then kind of hope things work out, but he's got to go sleep powder, right? Yeah. Do we have to explode? No, because Onyx is our only Pokemon faster than Ivysaur. I think we have to switch out. Yeah, I think we had to switch out there. I don't know how we can win this. Luna's going to have to make a big error. Yep, that was a good switch into Drowsy there. Yeah, we are we are done. We are done. And we're trying to get fancy here and catch him on a switch. So we do catch him there. And now what are we trying to do? I mean, he should just stay in. Let Butterfree go down and then bring out Ivysaur, right? Like, that's what he should do. But now we're relying on Onyx uh, to do some work here. We're relying on him to get some full paralysis. Oh, jeez, he goes sleep powder. That's surprising to me because you go razor leaf there and you're in such good shape. Um, let's hope he gets one more miss. If he gets one more miss, we have a chance. He doesn't get that miss. If we wake up here, we have a chance if he switches back to drowsy, right? Gosh, we had no chance here. Especially once Charizard got paralyzed. <sighs> Wake up, Venonat. Wake up. I can't even switch to Onyx because Onyx is so bad. You know? So now we have to hope that we get critical hits and full paralysis and he's fully paralyzed again. Oh, I didn't realize Onyx would survive that one. Wow, that's... Brutal. A brutal first game. Uh, Luna is on his way to getting that kingdom in the sky. I think that was the plan. Kingdom in the sky. That's the goal. He wins too. He's a king in his own right, so he can he can do it. Uh, so let's let's hope that this one goes a little bit better than the last one. I mean, geez, that. That was feeling bad from the start, just with the team that we had. But let's see. Maybe we can turn it around game two. Some good plays. Get a little more lucky than we did that game. Diglett versus Parasect. Still not great. Still not great. Um, this is a tough call. Oftentimes I like to let my ground type get put to sleep because it can still wall um, electric types. 
But Diglett's a fast ground type who can like late game clean up. I think I'm gonna let Hitmonchan take the sleep. And Luna knows me well, has watched my videos, has, has played against me, might think he's going to let Diglett get put to sleep and could go for Mega Drain. All right. And so we'll take the Hitmonchan sleep. We'll hope that he doesn't have four sleepers this time. And that we can just kind of walk through with, with this Nidoran. Okay, that's not bad for us. Um, obviously Nidoran knows Thunderbolt, so we go Body Slam. Yep, that's the right call. But we don't get the Paralysis, that's too bad. How worried are we about Gyarados if we lose this Nidoran? We're like, kind, honestly kind of worried. Um... Nine tails somehow less valuable than Nidoran. Is that true? That can't be true. That can't possibly be true. All right, we're going Hitmonchan to take the body slam because it can take a few hits. It could wake up between these hits, like right. It could wake up and just do some damage to this muck, right? Oh, for crying out loud. He's got a Mewtwo. Okay, well, we hope that it's just the typical Mewtwo that doesn't have Thunderbolt. That's our big hope. If it's the barrier set, that's really great for us because Diglett has Slash. We can paralyze and confuse it. Like, we have options. We have two Pokemon faster than Mewtwo on our team. So we have a chance. But if it's the Thunderbolt Blizzard Psychic set, well, we could be done and, and down 0-2 immediately. Um, yeah, I guess let's find out. And the confidence with which he used that second Amnesia and now the third Amnesia it makes me feel like he's got the Thunderbolt. But he doesn't show it there. And now we're like fully stacked up here. Okay. Um, I mean, this is okay. Because maybe he's Psychic Blizzard Recover, right? No, he's Rest. Okay. We thought about like we took a little minute there to think about it because we were like, oh, should we go Diglett and then just slash 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 slash? But didn't want to. This is really nice to know that he knows rest. Um because we also know rest and could potentially let that mock explode, which would be great. We can potentially get a critical hit of our own or a full paralysis here. We don't get either. Now Mewtwo's critical hit earlier did 35, so I think we do have to rest here. And this is going to be kind of a lame battle. Um, but my hope is maybe he switches to mock and tries to explode. Um, that'd be okay by me. He goes to mock this turn. Maybe he uses body slam or sludge or something. Then uses explosion to knock out our slow bro. And it's tough sledding against this Mewtwo, but we do still have Diglett and Ninetales, both of whom are faster than Mewtwo, who could use some good Confuse Ray tactic, something like that. Yep, that's what we thought. We don't expect the first turn explosion here, but it could happen. And it does happen. Now the nice thing is Mewtwo can't come back out, right? Because um, 
because it can't do anything to this slow brew who's so well set up. The trouble is Mewtwo can do a ton to um, slow brew with just one amnesia. Right? So he could do basically the same amount that that crit did, 35-36%. Slow brew's down to 23%. So going to be tough. Oh my goodness, he's got another sleeper. We do get that crit. That was pretty nice. And we do have Nine Tails, who's faster than Ghastly, which is also nice. We're going to just go Hitmonchan here, I think. So we've got Nine Tails and Diglett faster than Ghastly. Well, how much do we need this Articuno, though? He's very good against Sand Slash. Ninetales can two hit the Sand Slash, nine, uh, but Nidoran's not fast enough to do damage to the Sand Slash. Um, tough to say. Ghastly could be Confuse Ray. Ghastly can't do a ton of damage to us, though, right? So is it safe to stay in? We want to save this Articuno because it's faster than most of his team. Okay. Okay, we'll go hit on Chan. Cool. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, and now we have to think, well, who's going to come out next? And Mewtwo's a good candidate. Gyarados is a good candidate. Um, obviously, Articuno is good against two or three of those. Um... So, we haven't revealed Ninetales yet. I don't think he can go Sand Slash, because Articuno just one-shots it. I think he's going to go Gyarados. No, why would he do that? He'd go Mewtwo, right? Mewtwo or Gyarados, I think. I think those are the two most logical plays here. So... Go Nidoran. Now he goes Mewtwo. Makes total sense. Makes total sense. Um, now we kind of have to hope to get Paralysis with this Body Slam. And we're still not in terrible shape. I expect the Amnesia to come through here. Uh, I'd be pretty surprised if he just went straight Psychic. Yep. So we get that Body Slam and the Paralysis. There we go. And now, now we're in okay shape. Um... What's Mewtwo going to do here? I'm not sure. Body Slam did 22%. Um, I guess we'll keep the pressure on with Body Slam. We don't really have anything good for Gyarados. We kind of need the Nine Tails and Articuno, like that combination. Yeah, I guess we'll just stay in and Body Slam. Mm. If he rests, I'm going to be sad, but like, I don't want to play that recklessly with Diglett right here, because I need Diglett for Mewtwo. It's like I need every single one of the remaining Pokemon that I have, and I can't keep all of them. Right? I could lose Slowbro pretty comfortably, um, but maybe it's worth checking. Psychic at plus two doesn't guarantee knock us out, but it's more likely than not. So I'm going to stay in Body Slam one more time. And then if he amnesias again or barriers, if he does anything other than rest after this Body Slam, I'm going to switch out into Diglett, go for slashes, and either get some chip damage off on something else that's out there, or get rid of this Mewtwo. So we have a chance, because we have speed on our side, we have a chance. Okay, he's fully paralyzed. Time to go Diglett and just slash away. Great. Great. 
Yep, Parasect comes out. No big deal, no big deal. Um, obviously, Parasect is, is free to put something to sleep, but everything that we have is faster than Parasect. And I actually th think he'll go Mega Drain because he's like always oh, going to switch to Slowbro. So I'll go into Nidoran here. And I know I've valued Nidoran a lot for the Gyarados, but I do think that Articuno plus Diglett can handle the Gyarados, so if Diglett does enough damage to the Gyarados, Articuno cleans it up, and Sandslash, and Parasect, and so we feel okay. Okay, he does decide to just Spore. That's fine. That's fine. We'll stay in once. Maybe he goes to Mewtwo. Maybe he stays in. If he stays in, that's kind of our ideal scenario. Gives us a chance to wake up, potentially do enough damage to him that he's in range. Clearly Slash is, is a three-hit KO, so just need to do a little bit more damage, and, and we're good there. Um, so let's see. Gosh, this is tough. And what's he going to do? He could go back to Mewtwo. He's going to stay in Body Slam. Great. Give us a chance to wake up. Yeah, he goes to Mewtwo. That's fine. I think. We get the chance to just do some damage. And I'm not... I'm also thinking, like, maybe... Um, maybe Articuno Nine Tails is enough for the Gyarados. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna let Slowbro go, bring out the Articuno, and just start firing off Blizzards and just doing massive damage. But we'll see, maybe Mewtwo comes out here. That would be great, because we'd wake up, paralyze it. He could go Swords Dance here. He could just go for the Body Slam to finish us off. I'd expect him to just finish us off, right? Yep. Yep, makes total sense. Okay, so out comes Articuno then. And we don't even need a Blizzard. We can just Ice Beam here. I expect the Mewtwo. I expect the Mewtwo. But it is slightly risky, I suppose. It gives us two shots at this Mewtwo before it can set anything up. Oh, he goes Parasect. Great. So nothing else can get put to sleep. Um, maybe now Mewtwo comes out. Or maybe Gyarados comes out. Okay, Gyarados comes out. Okay, so I think, I think that's good. Um... I think that's good for us, because I think, let me check this out, okay, Diglett to Gyarados, Rock Slide does about a third, Blizzard does more than a third, Ice Beam does about a third, so Ice Beam's a three hit KO, some of the time, <laughs> um, we can always go Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Blizzard, All right, let's try a first Ice Beam. Hey, let's go. That's exactly what we needed to see. Now it's true that we can't freeze Mewtwo, but we're in way better shape now. I mean, switching to Mewtwo now is, is scary because we get two attacks off, right? So he, he's kind of got no choice but to stay in. Um... Okay, I'm going to go Nine Tails. I'm going to set up this substitute. And that way, I should be able to take out Sand Slash if Sand Slash comes out. 
And if Sandslash does come out, it means it's like Mewtwo versus Diglett at the end. And that should work out for us. Okay, so Mewtwo comes out. Makes total sense. We'll go for the Fire Blast. We'll go for the Confuse Ray. Should we go for the second Fire Blast? It would do a lot of damage. No, I think we should go Confuse Ray. Yeah, I think we should go Confuse Ray. And just hope that these hacks pan out. But really, it's going to be the fact that we still kept Articuno and we have Diglett. Oh, interesting. If he hits himself in confusion here, we might get him with the two fire blasts. Oh, if we just fire blasted, we had him. Dang. That's why I, you know, I clicked and unclicked it, right? He gets off the amnesia, which was big. So now we'd need a critical hit from either body slam or uh, fire blast. So we might as well body slam here. Hope for the para or the crit. We get the para, he snaps out of confusion, he gets the rest off. But I think that's okay. Because now we get two slashes in. No, we just get one slash in. Oh, dang. We only get one slash in, right? So he has to psychic now, I think. Pretty sure. So we'll go Nidoran. I guess he could switch. But I, I didn't think he would. I guess. Yeah, I don't know if that was the wrong call. I guess I could have predicted the rest and switched out. I'll be interested to see now what happens, though. So we'll go Confuse Ray, but... Um, he might switch to Sand Slash, right? That wouldn't be a bad play. Get rid of Mewtwo's paralyzed speed that still exists, even though he's not paralyzed anymore. It's going to be a close one. And it's tough because if we do call the switch in correctly, we call the switch in correctly and we um, try to start slashing he could always switch out right so let's see what we can do here we'll just try body slam hope for a crit hope for a para hope that he hits himself in confusion Oh, gee whiz, man, really? Um, all right, well, I guess we better check this damage roll out. Wizard does 13. And he'll have 15%, huh? After the slash, based on the... Oh no, maybe he, he might be in range. We might still be able to do this. Does Sand Slash one shot with Rock Slide? It doesn't, so we, we still have a chance here. We still have a chance here. Especially if he, do, if he doesn't switch out, I think we win. If he does switch out, then we have a chance. He has like a he has a one in three chance to win if he doesn't switch out because sorry sorry if he does switch out he has like a one in three chance to win this yeah this is a, a really wild strat here in my opinion um because he can't survive these slashes, so I don't know what's going on with that. Right, what is going on with that? 
let me do what's earthquake yeah okay just doesn't do that much damage um Okay, so here's the question. It's a one in three chance for him to win with Body Slam right now outright. I think we gotta risk it here. Okay, he can't switch to Mewtwo. So if he switches, he's done. And when he brings me two in, we just immediately switch to Diglett. And then I think we have it. Unless somehow Mewtwo crit psychic does knock us out, which it has a decent chance of doing. But he's got an amnesia arrest here, I think. I think he might amnesia here. I don't know. Uno's come up big for us once already. So let's see. It could uh, could ultimately get the freeze if this Mewtwo gets the crit and the roll to knock out the Diglett. No, it just goes rest. Great. We got it. We got it. Let's go. Oh. Okay, pretty scary, pretty scary, but we ended up pulling it out. Holy cow, oh, that was a tough one. That was a tough one, but this Diglett, we saved it on turn one because we knew you don't let Diglets get put to sleep. They're so fast, they've got Slash, and this is exactly, exactly what we needed to happen. So, whew, still not dethroned. And now we'll see in, in game three here if Luna can um, come back to move up in the rankings or if we can close it out. Well, at least we have a Sandshrew here. Um, sometimes I think hard about these plays and just think he's going to go into a water type, so let me switch to something that's good against water types. But you know, today I wasn't feeling that. Not just yet. Um, something's coming in here. I don't think he has a flying type. Great, I am right there. We can go back into Staryu pretty safely. Might expect him to double into Electabuzz. That'd be a such a risky play. And if he does that, we're gonna have to switch out of Staryu again, even though he might just double. But this is one of those matches where it's going to be our Sand Shrew against his um, Electabuzz, unless one of them goes down, but uh, we're just going to try to pivot around each other, I think. I think that's what we'll do. I'm just going to go for the Bolt to try to get the KO here. I don't want to get frozen. Um, he might go back out into Electabuzz. Fine by us. Yeah, should have surfed. Should have surfed. Um, so what's going to happen here? He might double into Goldeen. That's my thought, but I'm going to switch out anyway. No, he stays and goes for Psychic. Fine by us, fine by us. We get another big Earthquake off here. And if it's Goldeen that comes out to take it again, that's okay with me. Um, it's Drowsy that comes in to take it. Oh, okay. Um, what do we think about Drowsy? He's going to put us to sleep, right? I think that's his plan. It's a pretty good plan. Um, but Sanshu is good. I guess I'll risk it. Yes, let's go. I won't risk it twice. And I'll just hope Drowsy doesn't have rest. But... I always bet against the hypnosis, and probably a little silly, but it's the bet I make. Even though it's 60% accurate, it just I just never 
feel like it is reliable. It just fails anytime I need it. Um, big question is, is this drowsy worth saving? Um, not sure of the answer. Not sure of the answer. But I think we're going to use Psychic here. Just make sure it still gets the KO. Yeah, it does. So we'll just Psychic here. Um, just in case he decides to switch out into something, we want to do as much damage as we can. But no, he's good. He's good with that. Um, it's nice to have that drowsy out of the way. We just hope he doesn't have more sleepers waiting for us. Uh, here we can comfortably go wheezing. He might amnesia, he might body slam. In either of those cases, we're totally fine with wheezing eating that up. Yeah, wheezing's got defense for days, so no big deal. Um, and we'll... We'll go Sludge here. I expect Goldeen, I think. Um, in case Luna's thinking we'll go Explosion. He goes Goldeen, that's a pretty safe move. Um, oh, he has his own Weezing. Okay, we can trade Weezings. That's cool with me. Yeah, that's cool with me. Yep, trading wheezings. No big deal. Um, I guess we stick with Mr. Mayim. Like Snorlax and trade Snorlax for Mayim. Oh, he's got a Hypno. That's why he was so chill with Drowsy. That makes sense. Hypnosis does hit us through the paralysis, which is less than 50% chance, but that's okay. Um, and now what do you expect to happen? I expect Snorlax to come out, right? So we go to Sand True. Yep. And now we just kind of hope that between oh, Snorlax getting a crit, come on now, come on. Oh yeah, but this Hypno is still alive. I was thinking between uh, Staryu and Articuno, we can clean up these last two, but there's still three left, still three left. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I mean, Snorlax, I think it's time to let him go. And now Electabuzz comes out, or maybe Hypno comes out, no, but Electabuzz comes out. Um, and let's, let's take a quick check. Okay, so Ice Beam does 40 and Blizzard does 50. He's got 88, so 40% plus another 40%. Uh, it might not get him, so we do have to Blizzard here, I think. Oh, big. Oh, but even bigger. My freezes have been coming up for me all, all match. We can rest here now. And shake off this paralysis, which would be great. Goldeen comes in. Uh, I don't really care. Goldeen can't knock us out, but I'm going to go Staryu, expecting not Blizzard. If he freezes us, they'll all be real sad. No, yeah, great, he goes double edge, so no big deal. Um, cool. We get that Thunderbolt. And now we're feeling... Pretty alright, I guess. Between Staryu and Articuno, can we take out Hypno? I hope the answer is yes. If it's Rest Hypno, it might be tough, but... But if it's not, then I think we're in good shape. We're just going to surf here, keep the pressure on. It is Rest Hypno. Okay. So, might be harder. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Come on with that. Really? 
All right. Well, we do know that he only has 13 total attacks. So we might be able to win this just on having more uh, stalling him out of PP, right? I mean, if he gets crits, then it might be tough, but he'll have 10. Oh, crud. We can't let Mr. Mime get knocked out because then he can put us to sleep. So um, I think we have to go Articuno. Oh, and he gets a crit and lowers our special. Oh, that was a misplay by me. I should have gone star you. Should have gone star you for sure. Should have gone star you there. And now I have lost this one. Wow, that was a, a brutal way to lose this one. You know, you get the freeze and you're feeling good, and then it's like crit special drop, crit special drop. What can you do? What can you do? I guess hope to wake up on this turn and paralyze him, but you don't get it, so you get a little unlucky. So Luna does uh, move up here in the ranks. Oof. Wow, that was a tough one. I felt like we played that great. And then I flubbed the end with Articuno, but, but even if I didn't flub it there, if he got the crit and special drop, it still would have been too much. We wouldn't have been able to bleed out all of his psychic. So, all right, Luna. Uh, looks like you met your goal of moving up just a tad on our rankings sheet here whenever it's ready to load. Flying Luna Clipper. We had you at Survived. But we're going to grab you out of there and throw you up here as a king. You got us. Great job. Great battling. And uh, thanks for... Oh, it did this not copy for some reason. I don't know why this, this chart always has some trouble with... Um, with just loading quickly, right? Like I highlight the whole thing and it's like, oh, maybe I'll highlight this. Maybe I won't. So I guess I have to wait for it to actually do its thing. Great. And then we'll just put Flying Luna Clipper right there where he belongs as a king. Way to be. Um, but yeah, here's, here's the time where I ask you for comments that could help me because poof. Other than that very last move with the Articuno, I don't know what I could have done. Um, yeah, so thoughts appreciated on this match, why I lost it, what I could have done to not lose it, and uh, thanks for the help so that I can continue to defend the kingdom. I'll see you in the next one.